Alien abductions and UFOs. Why are greys so common? It's a question that Monstrum, their channel uploaded this past few weeks. When I think of the quote unquote grey alien, I think of Aleister Crowley. Aleister Crowley, he was a very wicked and occult man. And if you study the life of Aleister Crowley, you don't have to dig deep, but you immediately start to see that Aleister Crowley had a contact with a being he called the Lamb. And when you look at Lamb, and you look at the worship of Lamb, you can see that Lamb clearly looked what you would call today a gray alien. Aleister Crowley also had a lot of contact with different types of entities that were quote unquote angelic. One of them was called Awas, and this was a voice that he heard, an angelic voice, but does the scripture not warn us that Satan does come as an angel of light? You see, to tackle the topic of a gray alien and to tackle the topic of shadow demons and individuals that experience abductions during sleep paralysis and more. You see, for in Colossians 1 6, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether there be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. So when you're living on this earth, you have a choice to worship the true God or to worship the created thing. And when you allow the created thing to be the one that gives you the information to interpret the created thing, you're gonna end up worshiping idols and gods that are masquerading around us as gray aliens, as reptilians, as ascended masters. In 1973, Calvin Parker was 19, a hard worker who just wanted to build a home and raise a family. But those plans would be derailed during a fishing trip in Pascagoula. A real bright beam appeared all over us. But it kind of blinded me for a second. And when I got my vision back, I seen three bulky looking creatures coming toward us. Parker will tell you because of this night, he spent the last 45 years in hiding, scared to face the curious and unrelenting public eye. We'd get up and go to work in the morning. Nobody would never know it. They won't make us out to be idiots. But after suffering a stroke and having two open heart surgeries, in a rare interview, Parker is recounting to me the night that changed his life. And we pulled up and I noticed there was posted signs there. And I said, Charlie, you know, maybe we don't need to go fishing here. He said, no, that's fine. And that's when I noticed some blue hazy lights reflecting coming across from my back out across the water. So I stood up thinking that I was going to go to jail for trespassing. Just north of where Ingalls Shipyard now sits, Parker and his fishing buddy, 42 year old Charles Hickson, would do anything but fish that night. I seen three bulky looking creatures coming toward us and they was probably four, four and a half, five foot tall. They built like football players. From the moment that I was born, I can remember vividly the amount of propaganda on gray aliens, on hybrids, on different species from another planet. Uh, the movie that we all remember, E.T., the extraterrestrial. How many of you don't remember that? Even the Thundercats. The Thundercats were hybrids between human species and animal species. As you keep on growing up, you start looking at series like ALF, Men in Black. These are just some of the popular ones, but when you really turn on the television set, you're going to see aliens everywhere. How many children did not grow up with the Teletubbies? The Teletubbies were alien in nature, dancing around, frolicking around with the sun and all that stuff. Even in current day shows like Steven's Universe. Aside from the fact that they pushed a propaganda of sodomy upon children, they pushed a propaganda of alien beings. Alien beings that can raise you up, that can give you talent. We've come a really long way from close encounters of the third kind. We've come a really long way from all of these films that depicted aliens as these interesting creatures that would be there to help us. Now it's everywhere. We're bombarded with it. Teen Titans Go, bombarded with it. Shows like Futurama, we're bombarded with it everywhere. Mars Needs Moms, a film where aliens need women to procreate, essentially, right? So 
This idea of why the great alien is now becoming so common, it's because the demonic has become accepted and has become very common. And when you accept the demonic in your home, when you accept the demonic in your life, you may not view it as that. I understand that you may not view it as demonic. If you're a true experiencer, a true abductee, you have what's called high strangeness. All these weird, bizarre, paranormal things start to happen. Almost like your house is either being haunted or nobody really knows. Wow, that thing's weird. Hey, where'd it go? It's almost as if you're a storm chaser, like UFOs every couple weeks. I'd reverse that. It's almost like they're chasing me. But Stan says he witnessed even more paranormal phenomena. There was a UFO at his workplace. Orbs would follow him home at night. And ultimately, like a horror movie come true, Stan claims they came knocking at his door and woke him up in the middle of the night. You thought it was kids Yeah, I thought masks. it was, well, either kids or very small adults. They were almost a little bit too big to be kids, maybe teenagers. You thought it was robbery. Yeah, they were playing a joke or they were here to rob us. As I got closer, I started wondering if they were really masked because I could see the veins in their head, I could see their facial movements, I could see their mouth move, I could see their eyes blink. And I started to get frightened. So what happened? Unless you have this happen to you, it's kind of hard to explain, but suddenly a thought popped into my head. So you think they were communicating with you telepathically? I can't explain it any other way. I, I know what I experienced. <laughs> Suddenly, Stan says his mind was filled telepathically with unexplained images. Oh, some bands. He is now taking very close um, note of this. The Senate Intelligence Committee in particular, but the Armed Services Committees in, in both the Senate and the House are looking at this. There were multiple UFO provisions in the, uh, the, the latest defense bill. So people are taking this seriously. You... you you worked on this for the gov government of the United Kingdom. You were in the Ministry of Defense researching UFOs and if there was extraterrestrial life and the like. What do you think has changed now that it went from sort of the fringe people who wore tinfoil on their hats and stood outside Area 51 to now this? Well, I think there has been a realization that this is a serious defense and national security issue. And I think mm -hmm. part of that has come from within Congress. People like Marco Rubio, for example, have spoken out quite strongly on this. But the other thing is we've just got a lot more evidence than was previously the case. We always knew pilots see, saw these things, but it's the DOD themselves that have recently put some of mm -hmm. this on their website. And what we've seen recently is the Defense Intelligence Agency also doing massive document dumps, releasing, you know, literally thousands of pages on this, and there's more to come. Short of a couple of little green men landing on the South Lawn or the North Lawn of the White House and saying hi to the press corps there, or landing at the, ne the next Super Bowl and, and dropping in, what is, the, what is the bridge between these videos and we know that whatever this thing is, it is not human? But we are dealing with entities. In the coming weeks, we're going to be dealing with DMT. We're going to be dealing with the gods that they see when they do DMT and many other aspects. You know, in the book of Revelation 16, verse 13 on forward, some believe that this is actually speaking of the many phenomenons that we're going to see in our day and age. And I saw three unclean spirit-like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon. Right? And what do these gray aliens look like when you look at their eyes? They look like frogs. And out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet, for they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. You know, we're at a point in time that, let's say, for example, the second coming happened. It would be so easy, so easy for the kings of this world to say that this is some sort of an invasion and people would believe it and gather up all of the armies of the world against this quote unquote invasion. We would know if it's God or not because we have the spirit, we have the Holy Spirit of God and we know that that's a deception. But what I'm saying is, is that 
These individuals have prepared humanity for a purpose. And if you are an individual that's searching for this topic of alien abductions, you're searching for this topic of gray aliens, and you're actually experiencing this, you're actually seeing these beings in your home. You're being tormented by these beings in your home. A lot of these alien abductions aren't really actually happening, if you will. Many of them are demonic events. Demonic events that are actually occurring during sleep paralysis. And these people really do feel that they're being transported somewhere and really do feel that they're actually in alien ships and many, many other aspects. I come to tell you that in the name of Jesus Christ that there is deliverance. And I come to tell you that they are their created thing. And that you, if you turn your life over to Jesus Christ today and believe and repent and understand that Jesus Christ is the only way, that you serve the actual creator, the God of all of these things. And all of these gray aliens, all of these shadow demons, all of these Palladians that some people have mentioned as well, reptilians that some of these people have mentioned as well, all of these entities are defeated in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Joe Jordan, and I'm the State Section Director for the Mutual UFO Network for Bavard County, Florida. I'm also Lead Field Investigator. When we get a call for an investigation, we take all the information we could over the phone, and then we send investigators out, sometimes myself, sometimes other investigators working with me, and we'd follow up to do an investigation report. To these people, they were sincere, they had sincere experiences, and they were looking, a lot of them looking for help, and they felt that being that we were involved as researchers and investigators, that we could be some help to them. My name is Joyce Ahrens. Um, I'm a floral designer. Well, I am separated from my husband. We've been separated for about five years. I have two children, a boy and a girl, and I have nine grandchildren. One abduction experience we had, both of us, and both of us remember this too. Um, I was laying in the bed, my husband and I, and I was laying on my right side. And all I could see when I opened my eyes, all I could see was this red light above the window. And I could see my husband's shoulder, but I was like paralyzed. His skin looked like elephant skin. He had the big bulbous head with the big wraparound eyes. Most of the research is in the realm that said it wasn't possible to, to stop an experience. Knowing that, I called some of the leading researchers in the country. So I said, guys, I've got a very unusual case here. This man, we'll use the name Bill, and during his experience, <gasps> in fear, he calls out, Jesus, 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 or Jesus, please help me. By calling out, he abruptly stops his abduction experience. These entities can be stopped in the name and authority of Jesus Christ. Once down in Coco, this was after I accepted Jesus Christ, they tried to come. And I kept saying, no, no, you're not doing this. And I took on the empowerment of Jesus Christ, and I stopped that. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, these are spiritual entities. Taking on the empowerment of Jesus Christ puts a stop to a lot of things. And he's helped me a great deal. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. These entities, these beings that Aleister Crowley saw, the quote-unquote gray aliens, they've appeared to humanity before. And they'll continue to appear in current day world events. This is why it's urgent and very important for you to understand that the reason why they're becoming so common, the reason why the news media is consistently pushing it now, 
The reason why these cartoons have been made with propaganda to train kids up into accepting hybrids. Because we're in a day and age where hybrids, it's a common thing. Where with CRISPR-Cas9 technology, they can modify the DNA of a human being and call it still human. We didn't get to accept that in 2022 without years of programming preparing people to accept hybrid. All of these Marvel films, what are they? Hybrids. Who comes to save the day at the end? An alien hero. An alien hero that comes from another world or an alien hero that's a hybrid always comes to save the day. They're paving the way for the Antichrist. They're paving the way for these fallen angels. Just like in Genesis 6, 4. It's all happening all over again. There's no new thing under the sun. If you're experiencing any of these phenomenons, today's the day for you to remember the God that you worship. Today's the day for you to remember that all of these worldly new age tactics that you've taken on to try to cast out these devils, they're not going to work. It is only by Jesus Christ that you're going to be able to defeat these things and they will be defeated in the name of Jesus. I don't care what imaginations they've put in your mind, 2 Corinthians 10.5, I don't care how they're exalting themselves as if they're your God, they're exalting themselves with fear upon your home, casting down those imaginations and bringing them to the word of Jesus Christ because all of these beings that are appearing right now, this is nothing compared to what is going to come and when it arrives, most of humanity is prepared and willing to accept them as their gods. Part of it is the predictive programming, but part of it is the depravity of this world. The gray aliens are common in 2022, but they weren't common when Aleister Crowley was summoning it. But they weren't common when the Egyptians were dealing with them. It's the same old lie. It's the same old fallen angels coming as an angel of light. But God is still God, and God is undefeated, and God wins. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for giving us your dear Son. We want to thank you for giving us your Son, Jesus Christ, and for giving us victory through Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, there are people that are so interested in this phenomenon of UFOs, they're interested in the phenomenon of aliens. They're interested in all of these topics. Let us remember as we're searching and as we're learning that Satan comes as an angel of light. In Genesis 3, we see how Satan tempted Eve with knowledge. We see how Satan tempted Eve with the tree that looked so good. The scripture says that it was pleasant to the eyes. The scripture says that it was a tree to be desired to make one wise. So she took the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat. There are many governmental leaders. There are many individuals. There are many countries that have taken part of what they think is extraterrestrial. What they've accepted is full blown fallen angelic activity. They've provided them technologies. They've provided them demonic wisdoms that man was not supposed to know. They've taught man how to destroy creation and how to make their own creations. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you give us the wisdom, God, and the discernment, God, in these days to be able to stand firm and to be able to stand bold against these beings, against these entities. Not by our might, not by our power, but in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you're struggling today with anxiety, if you're struggling today with depression, if you're struggling today with things that are moving in your house, you're struggling today with items in your home that are just acting funky, your home feels very heavy, your spirit life feels very heavy, I want you to know that today Jesus Christ can deliver you and it's not that hard. You turn to him in spirit and in truth believe that he can deliver believe that he can deliver because he has already delivered you in jesus name amen may god bless you guys in the coming weeks we're going to deal with this topic because there are a lot of fallen angel entities that are appearing to people 
and people need to understand the truth about these beings. I love you guys very much. Thank you for passing by. Take a few minutes to share this video with a friend and their family member. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for your support. It goes a very long way. I appreciate it. And may God bless you and your family. I'll leave you with a couple of documentaries that I've made on this topic and transhumanism. Check these out as they're going to be crucial as we dive into this topic deeper in the next few weeks. God bless you and thank you for bearing with me because I still have a little bit of a uh, under the weather here, um, but God bless.